Hello everyone, this is Julia from Avalon Rituals. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a Wednesday update and I uh, actually think that I have never done a Wednesday update here on this channel. Um, but today I'm in Scotland. I'm in uh, at Rosslands, uh, Rosslyn Chapel and on the ley line, uh, the Michael ley line. So I thought it's a beautiful energy to bring an update here for you as well. And I've done this already for the German collective on my German channel. So I have picked the cards already and uh, at the bottom of the deck, we had at the moment for the Wednesday update, the Ace of Cups. Now the Ace of Cups is a beautiful new beginning where you feel like your heart is opening, you feel more connected to life, you feel more in love. It's a new beginning in love. So it could be literally that a new relationship is coming into your life. It could be a friendship, that could be a, a love relationship, a romantic relationship. But uh, this as the overall energy is a beautiful energy of new love feeling within yourself or for someone else or for life. It's also a card for emotional healing. So there might have been a situation where, in the, and there very likely has been because I have other cards already that I'm gonna show you in a second. So there very likely has been a situation where you still felt like you need time to heal. And I feel in this time at the moment, there is um, really a lot of healing going on for you on the emotional level. Emotional level. Now, the cups stand for spirituality, for intuition, and for feelings and love. So with this card, it also tells me that you might feel more spiritually connected, that there's an opening for you. Uh, you might even feel more connected to your own intuition. And so we have a beautiful all over energy. But what we're coming out of is the tower and the tower is a could be a shocking moment so there very likely has been a moment in the past um, where suddenly things changed suddenly everything was different it could be that old structures has um, they that they fell apart and that you needed to rebuild yourself your life or whatever situation broke apart here this whole thing is com uh, combined with the world and this tells me that there was a falling apart, a breaking down of a karmic cycle. Maybe that all, um, maybe there was something like a pinnacle, something like a shock moment uh, that, um, how do you say this, suddenly everything was different and that was the closing of a karmic cycle here. So with this combination it tells me that for the one thing it tells me is that the ending in the past, the shock moment, the breaking apart, falling apart situation has been a karmic cycle that needed to end. On the other side, I feel like now in this time, and we're going to come to the act, to the moon phase we are in at the moment, and next week we have the uh, full moon, and I feel like this moon phase is very significant at the moment as well. I'm going to share with you in a second why, but I feel like in this moon phase it's um, also for you important to know that these shock energies on, are now ready to leave your system. It's like, okay, you are allowed to let this go now. Stop thinking about it. You can let it go in your heart. You can turn towards a brighter future, towards new love, towards new fun and happiness and all the good things in your life. Because this is now in the past. And in this moon cycle, I feel like you are... This is the message to really let it go, to just let it go. It's done, it needed to happen, and now you're free. All right. So the next thing is the Eight of, uh, the eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. And this is why the moon phase is coming in here, uh, which is why I feel you're working in this moon phase on something very specific. And I also know, of course, the other cards, which is why I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. We do have the cards for the Seven of Cups and it feels like choices are opening up. I said it already with the Ace of Cups. It's like new openings are happening at the moment. And I feel like especially in this moon phase, new openings are happening. And now it's time to get to work. What do you want to build? There could be more self-esteem within yourself. Maybe you need to rebuild yourself. Maybe you're focusing on work. Whatever it is that you're focusing on, I feel like you're going to look back at some point in the future to this moon cycle saying, I've worked for this and I started to really work on this new energies in this moon cycle. That's a very 
very loud and noisy low lower. I'm just gonna, just a second. Sorry guys, I just needed to interrupt this here. Um, all right, let's continue. Uh, so you're gonna look back in the future, really feeling like the thing you are building now, uh, like back then in the, that, well, now I'm, now I'm out of this, but I'm not gonna stop this video. Okay, so you're gonna look back to this moon phase, feeling like I've made choices there and I really started to build on something, something within yourself or in your outwards experience of life. And you have choices, you have openings, you have new options, new opportunities coming your way. What do you choose? What is it that you truly, truly want? So I get an energy of what is your dream? What dream do you want to focus on and what do you want to manifest? And you need to choose. There are seven cups, seven opportunities. What do you choose to do? So get to work or oh, wait. Get clear about what it is that you truly want and then choose and then get to work. And this is all gonna happen with the lawn mower again. Woohoo! But still, I'm not gonna stop this video. I'm just gonna pause it. All right, third time. Isn't there a saying, third time is a charm? Something like that? I don't know. Yeah, is it right? Yeah. Laura is around the corner. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's so good. It's so good. I love it. So I've pulled cards from the Unicorn Oracle. And the first card I have here is magic. Make a wish. Make a wish. Believe in miracles and magic surrounds you. And this is exactly what we just talked about here. Uh, what do you wish to manifest? Magic surrounds you at the moment. I mean, always, but especially now. And this is why I feel this time at the moment is so significant when it comes to you manifesting your dreams. But in order for you to know what your what you want to manifest, you need to know what are your dreams. So really go and look within and feel within and know that now is a perfect time to manifest your dreams because magic surrounds you and believe in miracles. So the next card combined with this one is beloved. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship and believe you are lovable. Now, this is also very interesting because it seems like um, some or a lot of people seems to seem to manifest a new life partner here. So that's a beautiful thing. Magic surrounds you, believe in miracles. And also with the other card here with the Ace of Cups that is like an opening for new love coming into your life and new romance coming into your life. But I do want to say with this card as well that you can start integrating romance in your life. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wait one more second and then I'm gonna tell you all about how you can integrate new romance in your life. Okay, so that was the last time of interruption here because now the guy is gone, like super gone. Um, okay, so how do you manifest? It's an opening for new romance in your life and you can integrate the energy of romance already with the relationship that you have with yourself or with a friendship. So romance is not necessarily something that you can just project onto a love partner or the life partner, right? Um, it's also something that starts within yourself attracting more Romans with starting to let the Romans grow within yourself and like I said you can you can use friendships and integrate Romans and friendship or the relationship that you have with yourself and I do feel also this is a, now I can't talk anymore now I feel like this is also a very uh, beautiful opening at the moment especially in this moon phase that we are in uh, for new Romans for new um, doors opening when it comes to love to romance and maybe even your life partner so thank you for listening uh, if you resonate with the reading please leave a like or a comment or subscribe to the channel and sending you all so much love from rosalind chapel from the mary uh, from the michael a line sorry from the michael a line and see you guys next time Mwah.